Hi, this is Judy. Thank you for joining me here on YouTube. Today I'm joining in with a bunch of ladies that are doing an organization hop and I definitely need help organizing, but I'll show you what I have and I hope to get inspired by the other ladies following along with this hop. So make sure you check out in the video description below and uh, see all of their ideas as well. Okay, so I'm gonna try not to shake this too much and I didn't have all my lights on, but I will show you my area. So this is my crafting area. Okay, there's two six foot tables together. And I have a paper organizer here that um, I need to go through and organize. Here are some units from Iris. And as you can see, some of the drawers have labels on them. And there are things in there that I use most often. And then there's the same one right next to it with more items that I use most often. Okay, on top of that, I have an ink pad tower and another ink pad tower. Now this one, sometimes I will take upstairs to craft upstairs because I am in my basement. My husband and I are renovating it. And this has all my close to my heart current inks. And the other one is... Um, close to my heart inks that are retired or the pigment inks. Okay, and next to that is one of the, I think it's a totally Tiffany one. It has the die cuts and uh, magnet sheets. Um, I like this, but some of the drawers stick and the ones that I sanded down sometimes don't fit right now. So, um, sorry, my granddaughter left some trash, sorry. <laughs> Um, so yeah, some of the drawers slide in now eerily easy and other ones don't and it's full and yeah, I, I need another one, but they're expensive and I really didn't want to invest in another one, but we'll see. Maybe someone else will give me an idea for more. Now up here are card bases and envelopes, photo placeholders, and then I have a drawer here with foam in it. I don't know if I'm going to keep my daubers in there, so I didn't mark it. Up on top, these are other die cutting storage systems. Um, that's just a roll of to be used paper scraps. And then my current stamps are kept in this plastic container. And once I am done with these and the current stamps are no longer current, I will put them into a larger um, drawer unit. Okay, so this is my drawer unit that I have and in the drawers, I had this made by an Amish gentleman and I specified the sizes and everything. Um, so in here are my D stamps and there's little dividers in here. I love this thing. I wish it were deeper, but then of course the drawers pulled out full of stamps would be really heavy. So, so there's another drawer and another one. Now I'm going through organizing my stamps on Evernote. So that's why it's, not looking full believe me it will be full when i'm done because i have more stamps that i will ever need okay we're back to this side of the table and there is my embossing gun and a totally tiffany holder and i like that because then i don't have to worry about holding it and next to that is a unit from i'm not sure where i got that but it is a three shelf unit it might even be a shoe Holder. I don't think so. I think it's a organizing unit. But as you can see, it's a, it's a mess. But on top is my Cricut. It's waiting for me to do something. I'll turn that off. And of course, I have all my tools here. And in the back is the uh, for vinyl to take it off. So under that is my scoring board, a creative memories cutter, my craft sheets. There's a storage unit here here and this is going for um, it's going to be used for more storage as I said I'm in the middle of organizing <laughs> and there's my baby wipes pet wipes for clean up my big cutter this is from stamping up years ago and I love it for cutting um, big cuts and then under that I have my rulers 
I know they're cutting tools and extra storage unit that I need to clean out. And under here, I have my Make It Station, I have my Misties, I have my Cricut mats. So those are all right there handy to pick and get when I need it. And then on this table, I have my glass mat. So I have a wheelie chair here, and I will wheel it back and forth um, rather than standing up sometimes. But if I need to use my glass mat, I can come over here quickly and use it. So put those back. And I also have all of my cords here so that um, I've got a power cord here that goes up to the ceiling and I have all of my necessary things for my computer and my cutters and everything right there. And I also have my um, ring light there and I can pull it down here like this. And I can also move it over on this side so that I can make something on my glass mat. So that's really handy. I like having that set up. Um, over here, this is a shoe rack. I just got this at Menards in Ohio when I was there recently. And it was nice because it's white and I like having everything white because it helps me to see it, right? Um, so on top of that is my Mac and my um, pad, my keyboard. Behind there is a pencil sharpener because I only need it once in a while, so I pull it out when I need it. This is like my um, paint markers and paint brushes and uh, stippling brushes and all that kind of thing that I use occasionally, so I want to keep it up there. And then I have this unit for my shimmer brushes and my gold and copper paint markers and things like that. And then that cup right there is a paint cup. It's really cool. So you fill it up and if it falls over, it doesn't spill because yeah, I have been known to spill things. So on here, I keep my cutting board or my cutters because that's those are the ones I use the most. My ATG and the rulers that I use the most with an extra uh, stamping mat, a small one. Then I've got under there a stapler and a cup in case I need it for whatever. My phone holder my mic and then this unit here is a storage unit from close to my heart and there's a little tray under here that's double sided so these fit in there there's three of these on there and they're nice because um, all my pens are in one and then i can have something in here and then my scissors are in one and then um, miscellaneous other ones, you know, so I can compartmentalize where I put things. And then this is a ribbon holder, but I find it's really nice to put the little things from my desk there, and then I'll, when it's full, I'll put everything away. Sorry about the dogs. So, um, let's turn this on. There, let's get a little more light. That's the project I'm gonna be working on. And so underneath this rack, is my paperwork. Um, it's my binders and retreat event uh, information so I can pull them out, my calendar, planner, and everything so that I can pull them out and have them ready at hand if someone calls or texts me. Now this unit I've been using for quite a while. I only marked three of these drawers but this is the same. This is adhesives, tools, and my mark pens and markers. So it's the same up here as down there. This unit's for like when I go to an overnight crop. So I'll clean it out, put everything in here, and then only the few things that I need, I'll move to this and then I'll take it away and use it. They sit really nice on top of each other. And they're from Sterilite. And it's not the highest quality, but you know, it's lasted quite a while for me. I got them at Walmart for like $13 for the whole thing. Um, and I'm going to use them to sort my um, papers, embellishments into categories, okay? Now up here, this is another Close to My Heart organizing unit that I just put together and I haven't really put anything in it yet. You see a couple of um, adhesive things. And then my Ot Light, which I love. Okay. I think it's really important to have a light normal um, 
spectrum with all the hues to be able to see everything you're doing. Okay, so here, this is um, where all my projects are that I'm working on. Like I have a stamp of the month. I have a, um, this is my white card stock and this is the mix-ins and then more smaller white card stock. And then my idea papers, I keep track of like uh, sketches and things like that. And then over here are other paper packs that are current from close to my heart so that I know I have them readily handy and use those so that I can, you know, promote those because that's, I'm a maker, so that's what I use. Now up on top are, this is a sequin um, container and they're little drawers that pull out and you can see some of them are marked. I'm getting those organized as well. And on top of that, it's going to be like my adhesive um, containers to refill. Okay, my refill. Um, I bags because I do kits, so I need a lot of those plastic bags. These don't have Ziplocs in them. They're actually just, I cut the tops off and use them as containers. And then this is another thing of adhesives to pull from my acrylic medium, some texture paste. So they're very handy. And then I just did this with another stack of the containers from Close to My Heart, the organizers, and they're for the stamp pads. And these are the retired stamp pads I moved out of that other one, but these are a lot closer. So I find I'm using them more. So that's an advantage. Okay, so on my desk, I have this, and this is a turntable. And I saw this at a retreat I was at. Um, and then someone had these little containers. I don't know where she got them, dollar store or something, but she was getting rid of them. So I said, I'll take them. And I used some of this really heavy tape. It's like a spongy tape for your walls to adhere them to the base so they don't fall off. But it's nice because I can pull it over and pull these tools out. And if I don't need it, it can go over here, but the bottom is smaller so I can have it overhanging the desk where it's not going to fall off. So it adds to that dead, I'm using up this dead space here a little bit. And there's my cup holder over there where my cup should be and not on my table, but you know. <laughs> so that is my workspace organization. On my table, I have my Versamats. This is a holder for my iPad. I'll put my iPad in here. It's actually a Tim Holtz um, for like a wall art or something. But, you know, it's nice to hold my iPad there and it's off the table so I can look up and see it. It's a, a really good height. So that is my organization. And I can't wait to see what everybody else has because I really need to have some good ideas. So thank you. Have a great day. Hope you enjoyed this. Bye-bye.